Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song called Sheep by LA and Alan Walker. So here we go. So, give you a preview of the very awesome, the really catchy instrumental section that plays in the song that goes like this. Check it out, it goes like this. So it's a really catchy indeed, here we go. So let's break it up into parts, melody and chords to learn it because that's the foundation of a song and it's a lot easier to improvise once you've learned that. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. F sharp here, middle C is here for reference. So we start on the F sharp here. So F sharp, F sharp, up to C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp. That's the first part. So we're breaking it up to four parts so it's easier to learn. One more time for this first part. So it goes F sharp, F sharp, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, and that's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have a chord here, it's F sharp minor, F sharp, A, C sharp. So with that F sharp minor in mind, the two hands together goes like this. F sharp minor, F sharp minor together. And that's it for the first part, okay? One more time, it goes like this, together. And that's it for this first part. And then, the second part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so we just save some time, just repeats. And that's the second part. So yeah, remember, first part and second part is the same. So back to back, the two parts will be played like this, so you can see how it's played like back to back like this. Like that. Moving on to the third part, right hand continues, goes B, A, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, like that. That's it for the third part. One more time, it goes B, A, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp. And that's it for the right hand for this third part. Okay, so same rhythm, but just different notes. It goes da, da, ba, da, ba, 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 like that. Okay, that's it for the right hand for this third part. Left hand, we change chords to B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Okay, so with that B minor in mind, the two hands together goes like this, B and B minor together. That's it for the third part. One more time, it goes together. And that's it for the third part. So back to back, the three parts of so far will be played like this. Check it out as it goes. Like that. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand continues. It's, it's like sort of similar to the third part, like uh, about a half of it is the same. It goes B, a, C sharp, D, C sharp, and changes here up to F sharp, back down to C sharp. So yeah, it's like three quarters, two thirds of it is a similar, okay? One more time, it goes like this. So B, A, C sharp, D, C sharp, up to F sharp, back down to C sharp, and that's it. Okay, it's a little bit different. That's it for the right hand, left hand. One chord here is C sharp major, which is C sharp, F, G sharp. Okay, so with this C sharp major in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So B and C sharp major together. Okay, one more time, it goes like this, together. That's it for the fourth part. Okay, so back to back, all four parts will be played like this. Check it out, so it goes. Repeats. Okay, so pretty awesome. After you got the melody and chords of this right, like if we, if you can repeat it and loop it without any mistakes with all the notes and all the rhythm correct, then you can start to think of other improvisation and decoration patterns to put on top of the chords to make it more interesting. For example, you can do like a left hand like a rhythmic patterns like that kind of thing. So it's like. Okay, and afterwards when you're more advanced, you can do more like uh, bigger 
improvisation and decoration patterns. Left hand can do octave and arpeggio, different arpeggio patterns, and right hand can harmonize it based on the chords too. So you can be like. pause between each one you can actually do like a right hand arpeggio run as well you can be like yeah something like that okay but anyways yeah you can just play around with it and experiment with it yourself there's no like right or wrong you just like conform it with the um, basic melody and chords and you just play around and add like decorations to it and see what version you can come up with, okay? But anyways, pretty awesome stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from. If you want to learn K-pop songs, you can, similar to this. And if you want to learn Alan Walker songs, you can learn it from my channel as well. There's a few channels, uh, not a few channels, there's a few um, tutorials that are pretty like popular. Uh, for that, especially the Faded by Alan Walker. I have a tutorial on that one. That's almost, I think, about a million views or something. So, but anyways, so learn that for yourself. Just check out the rest of my channel. So many other videos for you to enjoy. Check out my website, bestpianomethod.com. Linked in the description below. If you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to do the stuff that I did in this lesson, like how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, and a lot of other musical courses there on my website. And also other stuff with like um, song requests and everything there as well. So check it out. As for now, that's pretty much it. As for now, enjoy time around my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.